a road trip north further and further back in time Eric Morgan, 70s yeah brief encounter 40s oh yeah and then we'll go back to the 20s and 30s we're in Elverston and we're going to see the Laurel and Hardy Museum and statues Laurel and Hardy statues nice Laurel and Hardy Museum at the Elverston Roxy Cinema where they would have showed the films many times years ago so they've repurposed repurposed the cinema as the world famous Laurel and Hardy Museum Yeah, well, they didn't. They didn't know for a long time that he was born here. I think somebody found the uh, or found paperwork. I don't know if it was this actual. Oh no, that's a. It's a car piece, 1976. That is it. But they did find uh, a birth certificate or something that clarified he was actually born here in Elveston, although he spent most of his early years up in the northeast. All the young, young photos of Stan. There was Stan in North Shields. That is mm. up in, up in the northeast, mm. with cousins Nellie and Elsie. The Elveston connection. Oh, well, yeah. I haven't got time now. It looks like there's a, a little. So a trail you can do through the town of relevant places. It is likely that Stan was born in the bed on display, although we cannot be certain. He would have known it well, standing in one of the small bedrooms in his grandparents' house that the bed and other pieces of furniture, pictures, fireplace, etc. have survived is entirely due to the efforts of Bill Cubin, founder of this museum. He'd been collecting Laurel and Hardy material for many years and in the early 70s he learned that number 3 Argyll Street, Elverston was to be modernised. The furniture and effects were in danger of being lost forever. Collecting what he could, he moved it to a small room he owned in Upper Brook Street this tiny room later became the world's only Laurel and Hardy Museum. Although there's also a museum to Oliver Hardy, it says, in Harlem, Georgia. There's a late 19th century ensuite facilities. So he was married or not married yeah. five times. Yeah, not married, yeah. <laughs> May Charlotte Dahlberg couldn't. Um, get a divorce, so his first marriage was Lois, Nel Lois Nelson, then he sank marriage Virginia Ruth Rogers, but the divorce from Lois was not finalised, we went through a, a second wedding. And he remarried Ruth again, four years after divorcing, and they divorced again in 46. <laughs> so his last wife, they were married in 1947, so she lasted, she was with him the longest until the end of his life. So 
and list the manifest of alien passengers for the United, the SS Oceanic, sailing from Southampton, October 2nd, 1912. Stone, where is it? Yeah, Charlie Chaplin, non-immigrant alien. Wormwell Street in London, on the same ship, Arthur Stanley Jefferson. Metropole Theatre, Glasgow. It says, Stan would have been familiar with the furniture you see here, as all the items of furniture on display are original pieces from the house that Stan was born in. Oh, the hats from the, the Swiss Miss film. Oh, so these, Ollie's up for Try the Warm by Stan or Ollie, or by the cast. Swiss Miss famous mock up of the scene from the music box the piano up the set stairs oh, this is cool on there they got the uh, clips from the films running on a loop well they did you said about 20 minute films only the shorts from the 20s and 30s I know. I didn't realise uh, it was first until I saw that, and then I thought, yeah. oh my god. So that then, died August seventh, nineteen fifty-seven. Now oh, the tours, look. Nineteen fifty-two, Shan. September twenty-second. So I'm the Empire. My mother must have gone. She used to go there a lot. So September 22nd, there and then <coughs> a week later. Oh, they were there for the week. That's all the uh, co-stars. Oh, memorabilia. All the Nardi memorabilia. Next thing is some more modern looking. Best of Pecker of Laurel and Hardy. Memorabilia here. Marketing man's dream, isn't it? Here's the statue just round the corner from the museum. Are you right? The Laurel and Hardy statue is unveiled by oh, it's unveiled by Ken Dodd. Yeah, you know, read that, isn't it? Uh, The dog bite in all his trousers. <laughs> oh, they've got uh, similar to the Eric Morgan ones, sort of f films and quotes. Here's another nice mess. Yes, 
Wednesday, we're in the Laurel Hardy Museum, Laurel and Hardy Museum in Elveston, which was really good. Well worth a visit, six oh, pound entry. Definitely. So today we've headed over to the northeast side, so for while we're over here, might as well take the opportunity to come to North Shields where Stan Laurel's family moved when he was five years old to this area here, which is Dock Gray Square. So statues here in the park and the site of Stan Laurel's house is over there marked with a blue plaque on the wall. Oh yeah, it is too. Nice house, mate. No, it wasn't these houses. These, the, the houses that they lived in were pulled down in the 30s. Right, okay. There's a, there's a picture in the museum of yes, I him standing. Oh, it's that house. I thought that was the one that was in... I think it was the 30s anyway. I thought that was the Elveston house. Oh, there's one in the yeah, but there's a picture of him as well outside this house as well, oh, and uh, okay. and there's this statue that's here in the middle of Laurel Park in North Shields. That's a good one, isn't it? It's Laurel and Hardy, the great duo. I thought you said the great bug first of all, I thought no, that, that doesn't make sense. That's cool, it's really good. That play is good. So he was born Arthur Stanley Jefferson in Elverston, Cumbria on 16th of June 1890, the thin one of the world the thin one of the world famous Hollywood comedy team of Laurel and Hardy lived at number 8 Dockery Square between 1897 and 1901. He died in Santa Monica, California on 23rd of February 1965, aged 74 years.